What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome back to the Elder Scrolls Online. I just want to let you all know starting tomorrow, Thursday, April the 2nd at 10 a.m. Eastern and running until April the 14th at 10 a.m. Eastern will be ESO's six-year anniversary jubilee. This is pretty much the event they do every year. Kind of a thing that's kind of like happy birthday to ESO. If you are new to the game, there's a lot of stuff going on in this event. I will talk about that, of course, here in this video. What you will need to do, even if you have done the events in the past, or if you're new to the game, you will have to complete a quest for the chef to get ingredients to create the cake. Every year you get a new cake. This year will be the Jubilee Cake of 2020. This memento, once it is completed, can be used to get a two-hour 100% XP boost, and this can be used all the way through the event. So this is going to be kind of back-to-back -back with the Jester's event. Uh, you know, having kind of a lot of XP. So this is a good, great time, once again, to make new characters, level up your existing characters, whatever the case may be. Uh, during the event, all you have to do is complete daily quests. So daily crafting, crafting writs, daily delves and world bosses, daily alliance war and battleground quests, daily dungeons and trial quests, daily heist and sacrament quests. Uh, once you complete these, you will get an anniversary jubilee box. These boxes will contain crafting materials, furniture recipes, outfit styles from one of the five companions, worm cult motif pages, a new outfit style page that has just been added into the game, transmute crystals, and probably the one thing or the one reason a lot of people love this event is random motif pages from assorted crafting styles. Now, you're not going to be able to get every single style within the game. There's still some that are, you know, tied to certain things, but I would say the majority of the crafting motif pages that are available in the game will be available in these Jubilee boxes. Of course, they're going to be just random. So, you know, you'll be able to find a lot, trade a lot, find a lot in Guild Traders if you need to purchase them. But you can run through these uh, dailies with every character that you have. So you can do your daily crafting writs, you know, world bosses, whatever. You can, If you have multiple characters, you can get tons and tons of these boxes and get tons of these uh, items that are within these boxes. If you have event tickets and a new Endric, it says because there will be fewer events this quarter, you can also receive bonus tickets by defeating any boss in the game, where it be Delve, World, Dungeon, or etc. You can earn two additional tickets per day uh, from doing this method. Uh, from doing this method, which means you can earn a max of five tickets or up to sixty-five tickets in total if you do them every day of the event. Now, like I said, the reason they're doing this is because they said they're going to have less events this year. I'm not really sure. If that was a planned thing before everything that's going on in the world right now, as you all know, or if that's because that, you know, a lot of these companies are at home working from home, so they're not able to be at the office and get all of these things going because everyone's not working together at the same place. So that may be one of the reasons we're seeing less events. I'm not quite sure. They really didn't go into a lot of detail about that. Of course, they said you can go uh, to the event vendor, and of course there will be a new uh, Indrick there that you can purchase or, you know, that you can get your feathers and, and berries and that kind of thing for. Um, for all the uh, new Endric evolutions will be available this time, of course. Uh, you have group repair kits, which are also going to be available. Uh, Jubilee cake furnishings, uh, outfit styles, furnishing versions of the five anniversary cakes. So if you would like to have some of the cakes in your house from the past five years, you will be able to purchase those as well. And each cake furnishing is available for purchase only if you earn the respective mementos during the previous anniversary event. So you won't be able to buy them unless you participated in the past events. It says the anniversary jubilee features the quarter's first two berries for the all-new, very cool ice, ice breath injury. Anyway, guys, like I said, I just want to make a video letting you all know what was going on with this new event. Like I said, if you're new to the game, it's still a great time to keep leveling up those characters. And of course, guys, leave me a comment with your thoughts. If you'd like to hit the like, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. If you are a subscriber, click the bell icon up in the top right corner so you know when all my videos go live. If you have a chance, share the video. It does help out the channel a lot. Be sure to check out GT Racing. They are the affiliate here on the channel. So gaming desk, chairs, and office chairs, all their information is linked down in the description. I'll catch you next time. Peace.